today our topic of discussion is constant mapping what is constant mapping a mapping a such that from a to b is said to be a constant mapping so a mapping f from a to b is said to be a constant mapping if f goes to a constant value that's like a, a constant number so if it maps each element of a to one and the same element of b that is fa is exactly a singleton set that is a single element so for okay constant mapping if it maps each element it maps each element of a to one of a to one means one element and the same element of b if i show you an example that you can think it better delete a mapping f from real number to real number so all values are real so defined by f of x that is equals to 2 x belongs to real number so it is is it a constant mapping of course because of the fact that f of r you can think any value from r that get a value that is constant that's 2 this is a single value we can tell that this is a single term set as well as a single element so that's like that okay so next the mapping is identity mapping what is identity mapping आइडेंटिटी मतलब हम लोग एक समझते हैं कि एक यूनिक एलिमेंट जिसको हम मतलब मैपिंग में आइडेंटिटी क्या होता है सो so, पहले मैं डेफिनेशन बता देता हूँ उसके बाद मैं इलाबरेट करता हूँ कैसे ये होता है मैपिंग ए फ्रॉम ए टू ए दिस इज वाई फ्रॉम ए टू ए दैट्स फ्रॉम इज टू एस इज सेड टू बी आइडेंटिटी मैपिंग If map on A, if f x equals to x, for all x belongs to A, that's f of one equals to one, f of two equal to the identity. We denoted identity mapping as denoted identity mapping as as i of A. मतलब identity of the set of A. Example, you can decide. f from z to z denoted by defined by f x equals to x for all x belongs to z if i elaborate it since f of 1 that's equals to 1 f of 2 that's equals to 2 and etc etc so this is an example of identity mapping and then the third type is the equality of mapping equality of mapping one thing if we have to show the maps are equal then we at first taking two map that is if we take a f as a mapping and z is a mapping then we say that two maps are equal e okay at first defined then i tell a mapping f from a to b and another a mapping g from a to c two maps are said to be equal this two map is said to be equal if the condition is f of x equals to g of x for all x belongs to a because this and this are equal so the element x coming from all x that's a a g a that's like that okay to show that the mapping are equality some conditions are hold condition number 1 if and g have the same domain t that's that same domain if and g 
can have same domain if they are don't have the same domain then we can't say the maps are equal and the point two for all x belongs to domain fx equals to gx these two property hold and then we say that two maps are equal let's an example that two maps are equal or not so let s equals to x belongs to real number r such that x greater than zero and let it be mapping from s to real number be defined by f of x equals to mod x by x for all x belongs to s and g is a mapping from s to r since domain are equal so s to r be defined by gx equals to 1 then then we clearly show that fx equals to gx and the first property holds since this domain are equal and the second property fx equals to gx if we take x equals to 1 so we elaborate that fx equals to mod x by x x belongs to s this means if x coming from s if let x equals to 1 2 3 then f of 1 equals to mod 1 1 equals to 1 f of 2 equals to mod 2 by 2 equals to 2 by 2 equals to 1 so in all case we get f of x equals to 1 and the second g of x always equals to 1 so they are must equal so we prove in the previous lecture we have just shown one example of injective and subjective now we try an another example which is not an injective and not an subjective if one of the property does not hold we can't want to show the another one okay if injective property is false then we can't show another sum of the property and we clearly say that this is not that okay so let's start f such that example 2 of f such that a real number to real number be defined fx equals to x square for all x belongs to r so now we have to show that x injective and 2 surjective and 3 bijective okay let's start Oops. let any element from r let 2 belongs to real number r. so f of 2 equal to square that's equals to 4 also belongs to r and let's another example minus 2 which also belongs to r so if of minus 2 equals to minus 2 square equals to 4 that is also belongs to r so in two element from domain we get a single element this can't happen in injective form so since two distinct element 2 and minus 2 are in the domain set have the same image which is not possible in minus 2 and 2 are two distinct element two distinct element in the domain set are have the same image same image this is not so so this is not hold injective property and two subjective for subjective property this can't be done if is not subjective since minus one in the codomain set r has no pre image in that domain set r okay this is not subjective because minus one in the codomain set r has no pre image in that domain set r so this is not surjective so neither injective neither subjective so this is not bijective so in the previous lecture we saw that 
an example which is injective, bijective and surjective. In this lecture, we show that this is not injective, not bijective and not surjective. So, we are done.